Hello guys, welcome today to UDK Maya Grid Setup. I'm going to be going over how to set up your Maya Grid and get things imported into UDK and then be the actual right size. If, uh, this is really important because if you don't do this correctly, your objects could be really, really small. They tend to be small um, rather than really, really large. Alright, you'll notice here that my grid in Maya, oh, that my grid in Maya looks a little strange and small. If you ever run into grid sizing issues, the um, you can always switch it back to default. And to um, edit your grid, um, you go to display, and then you click on the options box of the grid. And you see right here, this is why my grid is so small and tiny, because everything's set to 1. Now, go ahead and don't just blindly type in numbers, but actually read this. It says length and width and then how many units. Now, I haven't changed my Maya units. They are still centimeters, and I'll go over that in just a bit. But just for so everybody knows, default Maya grid is 12 units and then five grid lines or five blah there's a and then every five units it adds in a grid line and then five subdivisions and then click apply and then there you go now this is these are the settings for default Maya grid 12 5 and 5 and then go ahead and close that now I said just a moment ago about the um, about the Maya units, which are centimeters. And to get to those, you go, you click over here up on Window, Settings and Preferences, and then Preferences. And then in this confusing menu right here, you click on Settings. And then right here, you'll notice it says Working Units. And then it says centimeter. You can change this to millimeter, centimeter, or meters, or also um, to the inch, foot, and yard. Now let's go ahead and keep it at centimeters because that is the, the default Maya and um, default Maya grid uh, matches up with the, the, the UDK grid. One UDK unit or a one unreal unit is equal to one Maya unit. Uh, as in a centimeter. So we'll keep that as it is. Save and close that. Alright, now let's go over how to match up your grid to UDK's grid. Let's go over to UDK. Now you can see I already have it open and I already have the robot pulled out. Oops, I copied it. Get rid of that guy. Yes. Alright, as you can see, uh, down here at the bottom right, UDK is, is already um, showing 16 units per square. And that means that this square right here, this small little grid square, is 16 unreal units. This robot happens to be 96 unreal units. If you were to change this to 32, it doubles the size of the grid squares. And remember that all of these units are equal to one Maya unit. Now if we wanted to make a box, or a cube, and we wanted it to be the exact same height of the robot, then all we have to do is put down a cube. Now before you put down the cube I just want to go over and just make sure that you double click on your cube here and make sure that the width, height, and depth are all at 1. Seeing that they are oh by the way this is for the single click settings okay so we just click around the middle of the grid and it drops it in. I'm gonna go ahead and close the tool settings there F and home in on that. Alright, 
so theoretically I'm just going to make sure real quick that it's in the very center of the scene so theoretically if I were to scale this box on the y-axis 90 by 96 it should be exactly the same height of the UDK robot and I'll go ahead and add 32 uh, units to scale on the X and the Z axis as well. And so if I were to um, uh, export this as FBX and pull it into UDK, it should technically be the exact same size. And I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Export selection. I'll put it on the desktop. And I'll save it as box test and export the selection. Do I want to replace it? Yes, of course. Go to UDK. Now I get UDK camera and Maya camera all mixed up. Alright. Pull up the content browser. Import. Box test. Open. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, cool. There we go. Check that out. Now we just have to drag and drop that, and you see the um, the center of the object. Uh, the 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 box was was placed where I had the center of the object in Maya, which was right here in the center of the grid. Oh, I got my controls all mixed up again. All right, you see this is where the center is, right there, which is why. It drops into UDK. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Camera controls. Okay. Which is why I got dropped there. So let's just move this up real quick. And you can see, bam, that's exactly where I wanted it to be. Cool beans. Alright, so we know this works. Now we just have to uh, fit the grid so it's not fit the grid to UDK's grid so that we don't have to go back and forth all the time. Alright, let's go ahead and I'll keep the box there just for reference. Go back to display, click on your grid options box. And alright, so we have this up. Now let's go back to UDK real quick. Alright, so we want it to be, uh, let's, let's set up our grid to be 16 unreal units. Now we can do, we can match it up to any of these really, but 16 is kind of where things happen at. 16, 32, and 8. But 16 is about where, where we're going to go to. That's what we want to match it up with. Alright, so length and width, uh, it, this is really an arbitrary number right here. Uh, we just need to make sure that it's big enough. And we're going to stick with, uh, oh, not 520. Uh, 5 uh, is 5 it's a uh, 512 yes we're gonna stick with uh, powers of 2 like 512 or maybe 1024 but whatever let's just go to 512 and then grid lines every 16 units huh imagine that subdivisions 1 now you might be wondering subdivisions 1 that means it's gonna subdivide the whole grid one time therefore going to Eight units, or um, it's therefore matching up with eight, un eight units instead of the sixteen units. That's actually untrue. It one subdivision means actually no subdivisions. So all we have to do is just type in a big number here, the number we want to match it up with, subdivisions one, hit apply, and ta-da, it matches up. Now doesn't that look about the the, the grid size of the one in UDK. That's because it is. Oh, I'm copying stuff again. Ah, uh, camera controls. Yep. Now well, it's kind of hard to see that dark blue grid, but whatever. We know it works. It's all good. And that's how you do it. Again, just quick refresh. Grid, menu box, or options box. Big number, number you match it up with, apply, cool beans, done. Alright, thanks, have a good day.